preppers, it is time. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. It is time to gather your tribe. With all that's going on in the world today, with everybody, well, lots of people losing their jobs, um, rising costs, shortages, harsh winter, dark winter, ever encroaching issues, control, loss of freedoms. It is time to gather together with like-minded people to support each other, to provide for each other, to help each other, to assist each other, to be there for each other. Bring people in if you can, people that need help. Gather your tribe. Form and or work on your homesteads, whatever that may take, whatever form it may take, whether it's rural, suburban, urban, whatever the area is. Groups are important. We got backup. We got mutual support. We can for security, for defense, for food, for growing food, for raising animals, for doing all the household and boring day-to-day -day duties. It's important to have people. With that, we got to keep prepping. Food storage, water, all the supplies we might need. But now is the time to gather your tribe. Gather like-minded people. People need to stand together. We need to stand strong. We need to resist. We need to be and stand, be who we are, stand up for what we believe in, and prepare ourselves. Dark times are coming. I have no doubt about that. If you don't know people, I've been telling you for a long time, some a lot of other people, get to know people. A lot of people are being pushed in certain directions due to everything that's gone down. Due to their beliefs, their moral structure, and where they believe this country is supposed to be. Speaking of the United States of America. What it was supposed to be and versus what it is now. We have to stand together. We have to form groups. We have to establish tribe. We need to do these things now. I just, I don't know, I can't say it enough. We gotta stand up or we'll lose everything. So it's very, very important to do this now. Please prepare. Well, we're going to talk about a bunch of other stuff. Stand by. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Even if it is a financial hardship or a <clears throat> financial quote-unquote burden to bring other people in, to move people onto your property, to bring people into your home, who knows? It may help out. They may be able to help around. Whether it's financially a little bit, split the rent, split the mortgage, whatever it may be. But it will help household chores, have them help out. If you're giving, if you're in a situation to give them free room and board, maybe you're set up food-wise, or if they lost their job, they can get food via methods like food banks, food pantries, um, local farms giving away stuff that is damaged and or not perfect for the market. There are a lot of ways. Tighten Tighten up. Forget about all the frivolous stuff. The big screen TVs, the brand new iPhones and stuff like that. I've never owned an iPhone. I've never, we do have a, I think it's a big TV, but it was like 150 bucks. Um, it's not smart, it's dumb. I like dumb things. Smart things, listen to what I'm saying. I don't like smart things. Um, especially things that are smarter than me. <laughs> uh, but yes, forget about the way life has been and the way it was. The new normal. The new normal means a lot of things. Different things, different people. What I'm talking about is think about what's truly important. Family, friends, tribe, community. You can get by with a lot less than you have in the past. Who knows, maybe in a situation where you haven't had much in the past. Maybe you're really, you know, financially strapped. Okay. Well, 
you know how to live like that. It may be easier for you to figure out those things because you already know it's truly important. Other people that have been in the consume, consume, consume mode, um, I think need to change their, to shift their dynamic, shift their paradigm. They need to concentrate on what's truly important in life. Friends, family, love, connections, real human connections, working the earth with your hands, raising your animals, doing stuff like that, getting fit, making it fun, having people around, it can add stress. Yes, more stress because more people, more thoughts, more needs, stuff like that. But more hands to help. Back to basics, I think, is really important. Not what do we want, but what do we need? What do we need to survive? Do we need that fancy new thingamajigger for preparedness, for our vehicle, whatever? Are our vehicles in fine working order? Great. Do we need that exhaust intake turbo? No. I used to be into that. I used to be into cars, drag racing, and stuff like that. No more. Simple things. Life, food, water, friends, family, defenses, training, fitness, nature. All these kind of things. The basic things of human life. I definitely feel that we're going to be shifting that direction. We're basically going to be forced to shift that direction. We need to stand together because then we feel like we have backup. We're not alone. I hope none of you feel like you're alone. I hope you have people in your area that will help you out, will stand by you, will stand with you. It may be, there may be growing pains. It'll take some getting used to. You know, bringing another family in or having to go to another family's property. But if we really think about it, if we really are true to ourselves, it can be an amazing thing if we gather strength in numbers, division of labor, good conversations, fun, human interaction, not screen, not I'm a zombie, no. Real life, real humans, real love, caring, talking, interaction. That is very, very healthy. And mentally, just having people around you that are there for you, that got your back, is so important, so important. Think about this, people. I don't know who, I don't know, maybe somebody out there would disagree that we, don't, that we need to gather. We do. Whether it is to stand against things we don't believe in that's going on in our nation, whether it's to help each other out because somebody lost a job, they need to sell their house, move out, whatever it is. We need to be there for each other. Who can we call ourselves if we're not willing to be there for our friends, for our families, for our neighbors, our communities? I don't think, I couldn't think, I couldn't feel myself or know myself to be a good person if I didn't do that. So, with that said, soon um, we may be having another face <laughs> on the channel, as well as my wife. My wife wants to get more involved. We're trying to change up the dynamic. I'm trying to do fewer uh, less, a little less content, but better content. So it's important to me. Less stress, and I feel it'll be better for you guys. Uh, and because of that gathering of the tribe, we may have <laughs> a new face or two or more on here that may be helping out and adding value to the channel. That's another thing. Adding value to your life via those connections, those interactions. Um, yeah, practicing and learning also another thing is, it's really good, okay, you got more people around you, they know different things than you do, work together, you got a bunch of extra stuff from the garden, or whatever it may be, your animals you're raising, or stuff you bought at the store, 
and this new person knows how to can. They can teach you how to can. What about teach you how to knitting, sewing? They can teach you, we can teach each other lots of things. If somebody came here, I could teach them tactical stuff. Oh, yeah, tactical stuff. Defensive security. Most of that stuff is on Patreon. Links in the description below. It's a dollar a month. I am honored by all my patrons. I am so blessed. And I ask, not really ask, recommend, throw it out there for you guys to check it out. Like I said, it's a dollar a month. Hundreds of videos. Good stuff there. I feel it's good stuff. We talk about a variety of topics there. I would really welcome you and really be honored by you joining us there. It's a good community, really good people there. That's an online community though. We need in-person communities like I talked about. Even if it's, if you're not in a situation where you're gonna be bringing people in or going somewhere else, spend some time to talk to your neighbors face to face Co-workers, former co-workers. Just let people know that you're there for them. You may have to change some things. You may have to suck it up. I'll tell you what, it'd be worth it though. I know it'd be worth it for me just knowing that I'm a good person, I'm doing the right thing, helping others out. I don't need some stuff that I have or need to do or spend on things that I do. There's always ways to readjust to compensate for basic needs. I know money's always on our minds. Budgeting, prepping at thrift stores, dollar store, different things like that. And that's a good thing. Just think about this, please. Know that we, especially in these times, have to take the moral high ground. And we have to be there for one another. Vital. I love you guys. I want to see you succeed. I want us all to do our best to be better people. Have a wonderful day. Trust in Him and blessings to you and yours.